welcome back to Urban Rhino Tutorials. On this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a new overlay we have available, at an overlay collection, um, and those are cobwebs. So in honor of um, Halloween coming up, we created a collection. Um, there are five different cobweb overlays available. Um, and I'm working on putting together several different overlays um, in addition to the ones that we already have. So um, basically what I'm looking to do is include um, more object type overlays. So instead of them just being like snow and leaves and stuff like that, um, cobwebs, jewels, um, certain items that you would put into um, the setting as well. So um, please just stay tuned for those. Um, I'll be creating um, several tutorials to go along with each of those, but for now the cobwebs is what we're focusing on. Um, so as usual, um, I have the photo open here that I'm going to use and I'm going to go to file, place embedded. I have my cobwebs overlay, the, the one that I want to use um, already in my folder here. I'm just going to place that directly on top. Um, I'm going to kind of move it around a little bit and get it into the place that I want. Um, what I'm looking to do is have um, cobwebs kind of back here in this corner over here and then I'll probably stretch some across the screen here. Um, actually I will. I've already created um, the overlays or, or place the overlays ahead of time but I'm going to show you with one of them how to place it so you put it where you want and just hit enter <clears throat> um, and then you're going to set it to screen like this so that the black disappears so all you're seeing are the white you know the, the cobwebs spider webs whatever you want to call them um, from here what I want to do um, is skew that layer to kind of shape into that area. So I'm going to bring up the transform and go to um, skew or actually I'll do warp and I'm just going to kind of move this so that I'm trying to look at the corner And I want it to go um, just along that top edge of the wall, like where the wall meets the ceiling. I'm going to bring this over some, like that. You know, you could have it across the across the pictures or not. It doesn't matter. And just hit enter. Um, and then obviously right now it's very um, exact on the edges, you know, from it being a rectangle. So I want to brush off some of that. I'm going to bring up a layer mask and go to a black brush. And um, I want, oh geez, I'm on the wrong I've been working with, um, there we go. Good Lord here. I'm on my, um, I was working with my dodge and burn and the clone stamp. So it kept trying to bring up that. Um, so you want to make sure that you have a black brush selected. Um, and I feel like up in the very upper corner, it's going to be kind of darker. Um, I don't want 100% opacity brushed off, so I'm going to lower the opacity, there I've got 17, and I'm just going to brush it off some because it's not going to be so bright in that far corner. Um, and then I'm going to kind of brush it off so that it's, again, not so, doesn't look so perfectly like a, like a rectangle. So just kind of like that. Um, if I wanted, you know, to to move it so that it's not covering the pictures, you know, I could, um, you know, either brush it off of there or bring up the transform and uh, skew um, tool again and move that out of the way there. Um, the next thing I would do is either duplicate this layer and make some changes or place those 
that same overlay again or um, choose one of the other four overlays that we have um, for the cobwebs. Place one here and one up here. So when you're finished, um, or when I was finished, this is what I ended up with. So obviously I did a little bit different here um, instead of that one. So I've got this, it's kind of stretched up here. And then I have this to stretch across. And I made sure I brushed it off of her, um, her head there. I didn't want it, you know, the cobwebs coming across there. And then I have one up here in the corner. Um, I'm pretty close to finished editing this. I'm going to do, um, uh, play a few more actions on it um, and put a little bit more of a gradient around the edge to make it a little bit darker, sharpen some stuff, um, and then I should be done. So when I'm all finished, um, this is what I have here. Let's get it to open. So like that. Um, so you can see how these, you know, kind of blend in. I did crop it a little bit more. So, um, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Like I said, these um, spider web, cobweb, whatever you want to call them, um, overlays are available in our online store. I'll include a link, um, and I hope you guys like them. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you stay connected with Urban Rhino on social media. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and of course, subscribe to our channel.